This is a video on how to use the calculator to zero a measurement on the start of data collection within Capstone. First, I'll go to my hardware setup and attach to the spark link. We can see that I have a magnetic field sensor. I'll close the hardware setup tab and I'll now go to the calculator setup. I'm going to double click on the first line and I'm going to call my calculation zero mag and type in equals. I'm now going to right click and from the pull down menu I'm going to go to insert data and then go across to magnetic field strength. In order to zero this measurement I'm going to subtract from this value of the current magnetic field strength the initial magnetic field strength. I'll do that by putting in the subtraction sign and now I'm going to scroll down using the scroll bar here on the right hand side and I'm going to select my special tab on the left hand side here and from this right hand area here I'm going to select first. Let me scroll down here so that we can see the description of this and this will um, allow us this will return the first value that is recorded for this measurement. So by subtracting off the first value I will have essentially zeroed my sensor on start of data collection. I'll now scroll back up to the uh, top and the function first will be inserted here along with its argument. I'm going to right click where my cursor is right now, I'm going to select insert data and then go again down to magnetic field strength. Once this has been selected I'll hit tab and I'm now going to assign the units for this calculation to be equal to the units of the arguments that I've put in this calculation. In this case it's going to be Tesla's. I'm now going to click on the calculator to close the calculator tray. I've previously created a two digits display. My first display on the left hand side is the raw magnetic field strength data that's coming from my sensor. And on the right hand side I'm going to select my zero mag and this is where the magnetic field strength for the first data point has been uh, subtracted from the remaining data set. I'm going to put the magnetic field sensor essentially in a zero magnetic field condition so you can see that these two values will roughly match each other at a very low value. I'm now going to place a magnet in front of the magnetic field sensor so that the field strength will not record zero on the raw data but it will be uh, but it will read zero from the zero mag calculation. I'm going to collect data again and you can see that the data has been zeroed on the right hand side 